It's not what you'd expect to see along the beaches, a thick, muddy, goopy mess. But this is what visitors to the Long Beach Peninsula this past weekend stepped right into. It looks a lot like an oil spill. Tiffany Booth took these photos and video of the event. Although it looked like an oil spill, she knew it was not. This, she knew, was a massive diatom bloom, one that was unusually thick. It was a little bit different in the way of um, how concentrated it was. We don't typically see them in those concentrations. Ann Thompson is a research professor at Portland State University. I specialize in what I call the invisible forest. Which is exactly what she says this bloom is. To the naked eye, it looks like mud, but put it under a microscope and this is what you'll see. Tiny creatures called diatoms. These are tiny, tiny cells. We can't normally see them with our naked eye, but they do the same work in the oceans that trees do on land. So they make oxygen and they take carbon from the atmosphere. These are the creatures that made the Earth habitable to humans. One scoop of ocean water could contain millions of the creatures, but normally we can't see them. So why are they so thick off the Long Beach coast right now? Thompson says it's likely a combination of ocean temperature, an abundance of food, and lack of predators. It's kind of the right recipe of all the conditions being proper for these cells to, to really explode in terms of their abundance. And she encourages people to check them out. Just don't dive in. The diatoms generally are very diverse and some of them can be toxic, so that would be something to know more about before, before going swimming or surfing or something like that. Um, but generally, I think it's a great opportunity to remind ourselves how much we depend on these amazing creatures, these microorganisms for the oxygen in our atmosphere. Yeah, and there is also a smaller bloom off the coast of Seaside right now. Booth, who took that video you just saw, also works at the Seaside Aquarium. She says if anyone has any questions about the bloom, folks at the aquarium are happy to provide information and answers.